I've round is a great value at the grocery store. So I'm going to show you a simple and delicious marinade with ingredients you probably have in your pantry right now. This is the deliciously bold I have round. Hey everybody, I'm back here at the test kitchen at Certified Angus Beef. And I've got a delicious recipe for you. It's a marinade for an eye of round roast using some really basic pantry ingredients that I love. Uh, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, some red wine vinegar. This is gonna become one of your favorite weeknight roasts. All of these ingredients pack a ton of flavor with a good amount of umami to enhance the flavor of this roast. Eye of Round tends to be a great value at the grocery store, and you can feed quite a few people with a roast of this size. We'll start with two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce for a little bit of umami, two tablespoons of some Dijon mustard for a little heat, then two tablespoons of red wine vinegar for a little tang, a tablespoon of honey, but you know what, just eyeball it, it's super annoying to measure, it sticks to everything. We'll add a teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning and then a little bit of salt and pepper for flavor. Make sure to whisk this thoroughly to incorporate all of those ingredients. We'll be using a zip top plastic bag to marinate the roast. This way it's sure to coat the roast evenly and completely. Eye of Round tends to be one of the leaner cuts, so I like to leave a little fat on top to base the meat as it renders in the oven. When we get this in the bag, move the roast around to make sure the marinade is evenly distributed all around the roast. This will ensure an even seasoning from the marinade. We'll zip the top and put it in the refrigerator overnight for maximum flavor. Now that it's had plenty of time to marinate, remove it from the plastic bag and pat it dry. I like to use a disposable paper towel to remove the excess marinade. This will help to form a nice crust and give it good color. This is a good time to season with a little additional salt and pepper. Make sure to season the sides evenly because a little extra S&P really helps to make all these flavors pop. We'll get this into a preheated 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. Then we'll reduce the temperature to 325 degrees and allow to cook for about another 70 minutes or until it reaches 125 degrees internally before we pull it and let it rest and it really needs that extra time to really retain a lot of its juices. Now we're gonna slice into it. So I'm gonna just shave this thin, like think deli sliced roast beef. I'm just going thin. You can even start to shave it a little bit if you need to. But the key is thin slice for tenderness. You can see it's got a really nice doneness because I let it rest for so long. You'll enjoy this roast so much, it's gonna go into your weekly rotation. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.